Franciscan Health is rolling out its Burmese outreach team. It'll work within the community to improve outcomes and help assimilate into American culture. The focus on health, language, and job training. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has more on the program. The Burmese population has grown to 25,000 to the south of the city, and compared to other Asian groups, Burmese still have the highest poverty, the lowest income, and lowest English proficiency. And advocates say all of them create barriers to health, and it's important that we address them. It's been years since the first Burmese immigrants started calling Indianapolis home, but there's a lot more work to be done to make it home, and it starts with improving health outcomes. Ultimately, our goal is to help this community be the healthiest it can. Franciscan Health has been doing advocacy work since the early days, but it's not just doing the work in the hospital. They're taking it into the community, forming a Burmese outreach team that'll serve as community liaisons, directing community members to resources for health care, language assistance, education preparation, and job training. Navigating resources is always challenging, and I can't imagine myself trying to do that without knowing the language or how to drive around or what does a doctor's office even look like. Nancy Swede's family is from Burma. She says the language barriers are wide, but the cultural ones may be a bit more broad. A lot of people are from villages, different uh, villages, so they don't have any access to um, like um, health care in general. So it's all very new for them. The work will also extend to educating the community on navigating health systems, yearly checkups, and prenatal and postpartum care. Sui so says it's vital work, but for her, it's a passion that's growing. Being there for our community, our Burmese community, actually just to think about it, um, having that a little impact to that community is actually very um, encouraging for me as well. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.